So Go High Level just released a brand new AI booking bot workflow action that works for SMS, Facebook Messenger, and Instagram DMs. It can qualify your leads and book appointments on your Go High Level calendar, all without sending a link, without using Zapier, and without having to set up multiple workflows. Everything can exist within one simple workflow. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set this up for your Facebook business page. If you wanna learn how to set this up for your SMS, your phone number, you can check out the video before this. And if you wanna learn how to set this up for your IG DMs, you can watch the video that's gonna be posted after this video, okay? So this video is gonna show you how you can set up an AI booking bot so that when people message you on your Facebook business page, either organically or from your paid ads, they will be contacted by an AI booking bot. The bot will qualify them and try to get them to book an appointment, okay? So first things first, we have to you know, have our Go High Level sub account. If you're new to High Level, there is a link to a trial down below and you can basically get all my snapshots and systems if you decide to partner with me as an affiliate. So there's a link down below to that if you wanna check that out. Um, if you are already on high level, you can just watch this training and I'm going to show you how to set all this up. So once you have your first sub account, right, where you're going to link your business page, you need to go to your settings, you need to go to your integrations, and you need to connect your actual Facebook business page here in order for you to receive messages um, inside of high level from the actual leads, right? So once that's connected, we have to click on messenger and make sure that we have this receive Facebook messenger messages toggle turned on. And then that way, if we go back here and we go to our contacts, um, when we message, you'll see I'll delete, this is a, you know, a Facebook messenger conversation I was doing before this. So if I delete this contact, you'll see this will go away. And then if I click on message here, and I click on get started, the bot will basically start working. So let me make sure that this contact is deleted. That way the bot starts fresh and you can see how this works. So you connect your Facebook business page to the sub account. You make sure that you have the receive Facebook messages toggle turned on. And then when you go to your Facebook business page, you just make sure that you're viewing it as a visitor and you click on message. Then when you click on message, you click on get started or whatever button your you know Facebook business page shows as default, or you could type something out, and then you should see in just a second, the bot will respond automatically, and this is based on a prompt. So just so you understand how this stuff works, there's kind of two ways to uh, look at building a bot. There's the technical setup. So the technical setup is you know integrating your Facebook business page and then having the correct workflows um, to create the bot. So that's kind of part one. Part two is really how the bot behaves, how the bot responds, what it says, what questions it asks, and that's really that really comes down to the prompt. So the technical setup is just integrating your business page, making sure that the messages toggle is turned on, and then testing it out. Now, how you get a response like this is all based on my specific prompt. So I work with real estate investors and I help them find off-market deals and I run paid ads and use AI bots like this. And so this is a prompt that qualifies motivated sellers, people who need to sell their homes fast for a discount. So if this doesn't really make sense to you as to why you're seeing this, this is just because this is what I help my clients with is setting up systems so that they basically can talk to qualified, motivated sellers, right? So in short, this can be done for any business in any niche, whether you're a real estate agent, whether you sell solar, whether you're a marketing agency, you do roofing, it really doesn't matter. This is all your prompt. So the technical setup will be the same for you regardless of your business. Where you change the behavior and how the bot responds is all what's in, it's inside of the prompt, okay? So now we have this working, so let me kind of show you the full function and then I'll walk you through the rest of it, okay? So it's introducing itself, which is what I tell it to do in the prompt, and then it now is asking about the condition of the property, which is what we need to know in order to see if we can make an offer. So I'm just gonna say the condition of the property, it's in bad condition, and now it's gonna move me into the next uh, qualifying question. So can you tell me why you need to sell your property? So I'll just say inherited, because that's one of the main reasons people need to sell their house to you know my clients at a discount. So I'm just gonna put inherited, and now it's asking me, what's your time frame for selling the property? So I'll just say 30 days. And it's probably gonna ask about three or four more questions. Um, and then it will book me inside of my Go High Level calendar as an appointment. So we'll do 450K. 
And what's crazy about this feature is this will book the appointment conversationally in the chat. So it won't, you won't send a link to the lead or anything. It'll just book it right then and there. So is the property currently listed? So I'm going to say no. And I think it's just going to ask for the address. And then that's, then it will basically ask if I want to book the appointment and then it'll give me the list of times. So I'll just say one, two, three, ABC street, Los Angeles. And now it should ask me if I want to book an appointment with Andy and you can change that to be, you know, your, your business name or your client's name, right? So boom, there it is. And now it's asking, when would you like to book the call for? So I'll just say tomorrow. And then what it should do is just send me a list of times. And then once I type in the time I want, it'll book an appointment and I'll show you how that function works. And then I'll just kind of show you the last components to setting this up. So here are some available slots. So let's do 830. But before I do that, let me actually show you that inside of this system, so assuming you know nothing about high level or anything like that, this is basically your business in a box. So this is where you have your website, you have your uh, conversations between your leads via text and email. Obviously you can contact leads right here, you can see via Facebook Messenger. Um, and this is where you can organize your leads, take notes on them, as well as have a calendar, right? And where you take your appointments. So what I just wanna show you is that Right now you can see there are no appointments on my calendar, right? So the moment that lead says 8.30 a.m., it may send one more message to confirm, but if not, when I refresh this, this will be an actual booked appointment inside of my calendar. So let's see, there it is, you're booked. Okay, so now if I refresh, this will now show an actual appointment inside of my calendar, and that was all handled fully by the AI. So there you go. So. That is the new feature, that's how it works. And like I said, if you wanna change this for any specific type of business, that's gonna come down to your actual prompt. And as I mentioned, if you're new to high level, you wanna check out high level, use my link, you can partner with me. And you know, I have prompts and templates for you know, how you can use this, you can adjust this bot for really any type of uh, business, right? You just put in the questions you wanna ask and then off it goes. So you can check that out and you know, I'll give you the snapshot and system so you can implement it for your business or your client's business. But that's the appointment booked. Now let me kind of walk you through the rest of this workflow and then that'll be pretty much it. So like I said, the trigger is the customer replies, right? And then we have Facebook Messenger. So you integrate your Facebook business page, you turn on the receive Facebook messages toggle, and then you create a workflow like this. And when you click add new trigger, you just type in customer replied, and then you choose the specific channel, the channel meaning Facebook Messenger, so you just select that. Then, because I wanna have one workflow, right, where the bot basically can respond to leads either on SMS, Facebook, or Instagram, I have a condition here that basically chooses or it routes the lead or the contact down a specific workflow based on the trigger, so for example, if the workflow trigger is customer replied via Facebook, then the only difference between um, these three workflow actions is inside of high level right here, you'll see that I have the channel selected as Facebook, right? And so because I have that selected as Facebook, this workflow trigger and this uh, workflow action is basically running this entire bot system. So you don't need these other two triggers if you do most of your business and communications on Facebook Messenger and vice versa. If you do SMS only, you don't really need to do Facebook or Instagram uh, triggers. So with my clients, um, we pretty much only do um, face or excuse me sms so we get leads and we text those leads so i have no need for ig or facebook but i know you guys that you know watch the channel want other channels that you use and so i just wanted to show you guys how to do this one um i'm testing some stuff with facebook messenger for clients but you know i would suggest to use really one channel where you're getting the conversions and not build multiple because you know it just may not be necessary but um it can all coexist within one simple workflow like this and as you guys saw, it actually booked the actual appointment, right? So that's the workflow. You just build a customer replied and then choose the reply channel as Facebook. And then you just choose the action right here as appointment booking conversation AI bot. And then here's where you link your calendar. This is how you kind of tell the bot how to behave. And then the additional instructions are how you tell, you know, like these are just templated prompts that Go High Level uses, but if you wanna actually have a really solid prompt, you gotta you know, have a framework and the right qualifying questions that make sense for your business. So I would suggest putting that there. And then we have the maximum messages limit 
before it goes to an appointment not booked. So I have mine maxed out at 25 just because I want the bot to, you know, be able to still message the contact for as long as it can um, before the appointment's booked. And then you could set out a timeout value and timeout unit and stuff like that. So if after 24 hours the, uh, you know, lead does not respond, they would just exit the workflow. And then what's next for this type of a system, um, if you want to optimize this, is you're going to want to either there's a few things you can do but the simplest way to explain it is you know sometimes people won't respond right they'll be inside of the bot and they just stop responding right that's just how it goes so you're going to want to have pre-programmed follow-up messages to try to get them back in the conversation and into an, an actual appointment right and with facebook and instagram you have to be careful you know about the limits you I don't want to say anything specific because they're always changing the rules of you know the time frames in which you can message leads but with SMS, you know, if someone doesn't respond for five days, you could still text them, right? Now with Facebook, or you could send an automated text, right? As long as they've opted in. With Facebook and Instagram, there's limitations around, you know, how long can you actually send an automated message to people? So you really have to, if you're gonna use Facebook or Instagram, you really have to optimize that initial sequence or else you won't be able to contact them automatically. You'll have to either email them, try and get their number, um, Actually, now that I'm thinking about this, let me show you something that's pretty cool here inside of Go High Level and like a Facebook Messenger function. So let me show you real quick. All right, so what I did was I adjusted the prompt because this, you know, you would be engaging the leads on Facebook Messenger. I adjusted the prompt to ask for the leads email and phone number so that I can show you how this function in high level works. So I deleted the contact from here, so you will not see any sort of contact in here. And so I'm just gonna message the page like it's a brand new message. So the, you know, the history of the conversation is deleted because I deleted the contact. So it should introduce itself again, and it may ask for the email right here. So I'm gonna just say, can I get an offer? And so it should ask for the email right up front. You can change the order. Like I said, all that stuff's prompt. So boom, there it is. So I'm gonna just put my email and that's not my actual email, so if you email that, I don't know who's gonna get it, but check this out. If you just type in an email inside of the, you know, the conversation thread, it will actually update that in high level. So now you could email that contact if that um, time frame passes where you're not able to automatically uh, message them on Facebook, okay? And then same thing with phone number. I'll just put in this number. I just wanna make sure that's the right number of digits. Yeah, so you could put in a number, the lead could put in a number like that, and high level should recognize the format, and then it basically will update the contact. So boom, now you basically can get leads on Facebook Messenger, but if that time frame passes where um, they don't respond, you can still automatically text them or email them because there's no regulations on texting or emailing if people opt in, right? So that's another kind of little ninja hack, but um, with SMS, you're going to want to like pre-program those follow-up messages to keep people engaged and then they'll go through the rest of the bot. So that's pretty much it in terms of how to set this stuff up. Like I said, integrate the page, turn on the messages toggle so you can receive messages. And then if you're just going to do Facebook, all you need is this trigger, customer replied, reply channel is messenger. And then all you do is click on the plus and then choose the newest one, appointment booking conversation bot you know, put in the calendar here, put in the personality, the prompt, you can max out the messages and then just make sure the channel is Facebook and that's it. And like I said, if you wanna see the SMS one, go back to my previous video. This one covers Facebook and then the next one will cover IG. And if you wanna put one all in one, you can just, you know, follow this video and see how it all, you know, looks right here. It's super simple. Um, and then you'll have in one sub account, the ability to qualify leads and book appointments conversationally via SMS, Facebook, and IG, which is one workflow and one sub account. So great update from high level. I'll see you in the next video and talk to you then. Bye-bye.